is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on <laughs> the Are you quite finished? Electrics. Are you being whatever you're being. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you guys are watching this video. My my day was great. Until I decided to start being me. Yeah, it's your sound. Did you do you like this? Yeah, it's okay. I like straight up aspartame better. <laughs> I mean, we all do. Aspartame and diet soda is way better than. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you guys are seeing this. In this video, everybody, we're going to be doing something legendary because Taco Bell actually has done something that's legendary, all right? Before we get started though, what's you guys' favorite Taco Bell menu item? Drop a comment down below. What's your favorite Taco Bell menu item? Uh, Doritos tacos. Oh yeah. And my answer is the cheesy gordita crunch or the Mexican pizza. I would have been able to guess both of those. You didn't have, even give me a chance. Have you ever had a Mexican pizza before? Yes. Fun fact, they were discontinued in 2020 and they're bringing them back this year. I'm very, very excited wow. for that. Wow. But unfortunately, there will be no Mexican pizzas consumed in this video, but there will be chicken wings consumed in this video. The all new Taco Bell chicken wings. Who thinks it's weird that Taco Bell is doing chicken wings? That is exactly why they did it because it's very strange it is right? strange the other thing that's strange about this is that you can't really actually just go to a taco bell and pick these up you had to order them through the app and you could mm. only order them after 2 p.m and you could only order the maximum order you could order was four orders so you won't be doing a challenge i was i was actually going to do a challenge i was going to do like 150 of them and i couldn't like i was actually going to go to six different taco bells or whatever that the math is like six or seven different Taco Bells and order as many as I could and do a gigantic mound of chicken chicken wings. Dude, that would take you days I know. to go pick them all I up. I know, and after I realized that that was really not going to be worth it, um, I decided to to not do that. And here we are, we're doing an electrics video with them. Here so, we are. Um, I'm very excited for that, Christy is too. But before we get to that though, we're going to be indulging in some deliciousness, some other delicious items from Taco Bell as well. Um, some items that I've never tried before and Christy has never tried before. And they're new items on the Taco Bell menu. So we're gonna determine whether they're worth it or whether they're not worth it. But before we get to the deliciousness, it's time for us to let you guys know something pretty cool. This video is being brought to you by Buy Optimizers. I've said it time and time again, but it's a huge priority of mine to keep my health at its best, given that I eat large amounts of food on a weekly basis. This means that I have to keep a well-regimented diet and supplementation routine, which is where Buy Optimizers comes in. I've been a regular user of their P3OM and Mass Enzyme supplements for over a year now, along with Magnesium Breakthrough. Magnesium Breakthrough blends all seven forms of magnesium into one effective supplement, so you can relax more, sleep deeper, and experience more peace throughout your day. When you get all seven forms of magnesium, your body gets a serious upgrade from your brain to your sleep and even with pain and inflammation. I noticed firsthand a significant difference in all these things when I first started using Magnesium Breakthrough. Here's the deal everyone, Buy Optimizers is going to hook you up with a 10% off discount code when you use ERIC10 at checkout. All you got to do is click the link located down below in the description. I'm leaving that in the video. Those quesadillas. Quesadillas. I loved making quesadillas as kids. As a kid. Um, I never got to make quesadillas. Like the only thing I knew how to make. Tortilla, um, cheese, microwave. That kind of sums up your cooking skills about yeah. right now. <gasps> Excuse me, I'm almost 14,000 subscribers on Christy Rose's Kitchen. Yeah, and what what should be your next video? What are you gonna make in your next, your next video? I don't know. Give us a little sneak peek. I don't know. Yeah, 14,000 subscribers, babe. You gotta get on it, okay? We have some delicious items in this um, in this round, all right? Oh, is this a soft taco? No, this is oh. a new item. Oh, I like it. They actually came out with a an all-new Chipotle cheddar chalupa, and we got the cheddar and then the black bean one. So um, let's actually get into that one first. Okay, so they're different. And we'll figure out which okay. one that actually is. You get Chipotle vibes from that? Better than Chipotle. Ooh. That's a Chipotle. That's actually really good. So that's the inside. It's got a little bit look. of a kick. It does have a little bit of a kick. I mean, that's a Chipotle one. Now this one it's right good, here. It's good though. I like the, um, I like the shell. Yeah, um, that is definitely worth it. I just like the way that they did the, the pita 
Yeah, the pita is good. So this is like a vegan one. Like that's the black bean one. I'm gonna go right. I mean, that's definitely not the vegan one because it has cheese in it. Oh well, I mean like meatless. Can you guys see that? See his, see his little nose. Why do you always bug me, man? <laughs> Hello, dude. Hello, sir. Okay. Um, okay, so this is the black bean one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna see if this one's good. Better or worse than the last one? I the Chipotle one more. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. I do have to say, I love the shells on them. They're really good. That was good. just what I was gonna say. I thought that Chalupas had like a, a taco shell. I thought it was, I thought they were gonna be crunchy, but they're soft, they're good. That, from what I remember, I thought that's what Chalupas were supposed to be. They were supposed to be like a, a fried yeah. tortilla shell. Can you see but, him? You probably can, can see the ears. ears. <laughs> uh, I do need to clarify something. Um, in our last video, I got on you about something and I, I need to apologize, apologize for it. Apologize about Taco Bell not being Mexican food? Okay, Taco Bell still is not Mexican food. It is the Americanized version of Mexican food. Okay, we had Chipotle in the last video. Which is also an Americanized version of Mexican food. And I have to, after reading some of the comments, I, and also... Do you want Mexican food or do you want... Chipotle not Mexican Yes, it is. <laughs> It's rice and black beans and it's, it's called salsa. It's not Mexican food. Taco Bell is supposed to be Mexican food. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've called Taco Bell Mexican food. Before. It is. <laughs> it's got tacos. I have to correct myself and say that I can, 50% of me say that Chipotle is, is Mexican food because it's called Chipotle Mexican Grill. <laughs> <laughs> it's full name is Chipotle Mexican Grill. <laughs> Um, uh, I was being a bit snobby in that video uh, because I grew up in San Diego and I speak fluent Spanish and, uh... Um, well, you're, we're 40 minutes north of the border of Mexico, yes. so you know what authentic Mexican food is, but it is the Americanized version of Mexican food. See, si, see. Si. Um, si. so I just needed to clarify that. Um, see, si, papi. Oh. Cortito. That was rude. Those are like the three words that she knows in Spanish. I'm trying to think of another one. Say this. Me gusta queso. No. You know what that means? No. Do you know what me gusta means? No. It means I like. Uh oh. Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta. Queso. You like cheese? I like cheese. How do you say sausage? I like cheese. How do you say sausage? Sachicha. <laughs> Sachicha. I should. Take this, my sachicha. And sauce manos. That means, would you like my sausage? What is a cat? Gato. Gato. Oh my gato. That's what I was saying. Oh, oh my don't gato. Say that. Don't say that. What okay, is a dog? Done. Pero? No, pero is fish. What is a dog? No, pero is not fish. Babe. What is pero? I don't remember what fish is. Maybe I don't speak fluent Spanish. I think, I think fish is pero. What's a dog? Babe, I can 100% What is guarantee... a dog? You don't know. That is a pero. I pero. thought you just said it was a fish. No, you, th you said it was a fish. Oh. What is fish in Spanish? I found three ways Pez. to say fish Pez. in Spanish. Pez, that's right. If and then know. rice is... Arroz. Arroz. You gotta roll it. Arroz. Uh, arroz. Um, okay, so... Tomatillo. <laughs> Taquito. <laughs> She's just getting out the 10 words that she knows. <laughs> Torito. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, we're gonna get into this right here. I don't know, I got some quesadillas. I don't know which quesadilla this is. <clears throat> Are they different? It looks like steak, that's a steak possibly. Quesadilla? I got multi multi quesadillas. It's good. Taco Bell quesadillas actually, they're good. Even being frío. What? Even being frío. Even though they're cold. Your they're good. Spanish is um uh it's actually coming along. Estupido. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for you to learn Spanish now because I'm going to teach you. My Did Spanish you need this? is estupido. Did you need this? Um, no. You don't need any ketchup? No, not right now. That's one of the things, I would say one of the things that people get on you the most about on this channel, apart from you. Being so beautiful? No, doing and this. And amazing? Oh. One person in the last video said that uh, when you do that with burritos, it's kind of like when you're in a play, like a kid in a play chair and they're just going. It's literally true. In a play chair. Like kids that sit up in a high chair and they just like play oh, with their food. I know. It's literally I never got chair. to do that as a kid. I'm living my dreams now, okay? You just got into the next item. No, I think it's a chicken one. 
Yeah, fish chicken. Which one do you like better? Fish steak. Yeah, steak one's way better. Fish chicken. Pollo. <laughs> no, me There's gusto. A... What is that? I don't like. Oh, and what's <laughs> I didn't know that was the other one. Me gusta? Me gusta? No me gusta. No me gusta. Gusta is like, okay. no me gusta. No me gusta is I don't like. Yes. And then what is I like? Me gusta. Me gusta. <laughs> Oh, so it's just Magusa or no Magusa. You're getting a huge kick out of this. <laughs> Christy's gonna walk around the house now and just be like, Magusta. <laughs> no Magusta. Um, I also got this uh, this new sauce. It's a honey chipotle sauce. I did not have any wow sauce tonight, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Next is the thing I'm most excited for for this round. Yes, are you looking? What, what does this remind you of when you see it? It's a burrito. A smashed caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> What is a smashed caterpillar in oh, Spanish? It looks like it looks like. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Can you guys see it? Does that look like a smashed caterpillar? Um, <laughs> well, it is not a smashed caterpillar. This is their new grilled cheese burrito. Oh. It is literally a grilled cheese burrito. Okay. So we're gonna see if this is uh, if this is worth it or not. All right. Break it open. You want me to break it open? Break you it get, open. You get enjoyment when you. What do is that. cheese in Spanish? Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know what's inside. Why is it pink? I got pink. Mine are pink. Is yours pink? That's what she said. Oh, uh, it's probably uh, bacon or something. Why is it pink? Uh, seasoned beef, nacho cheese sauce, seasoned rice, red strips. Maybe that's See? A... Yeah. What are red strips? Probably like tortilla strips. I gotta say, this is way better than Chipotle was last week. I gotta give the winner of that round to either this grilled cheese burrito or the chipotle chalupa. I'm going with the chalupa. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go with that. So the, chip the chipotle chalupa is the winner of this round. So good. Now everybody, it's time to get to round. Two. No. Wings. Two. Two. What's two in Spanish? Dos. Dun, dun, dun. We have the wings, but we also have dessert, all right? Because on the electrics, we believe in every food group imaginable, all right? And you do not skip dessert. When you go to Taco Bell, you get the essential dessert mm. items. Mm. Are these pork rinds? Mm -hmm. We all know that the um, the Cine twists are legendary. What is dessert in Spanish? You know what, I actually don't know. I feel You're like- You're the one that said you're fluent. I. I think he's not fluent. I don't know what the definition of fluent is. I know a lot of Spanish. It took like eight years of Spanish. Oh, did I tell you what our next video is? No. We're gonna do the burger the burger idea. You remember that? Oh, the blind. Did everybody wanna do that? I actually was really surprised at how many people wanna see us do like the burger that would taste be, test. That would, I, I guarantee you I would win. Here is, no, I guarantee you I would win. I have way more burgers I, than you have. But I know distinctly what every burger place is no, like. No, you think you know distinctly what every burger tastes like. I, I bet you I can do it just by smelling it. I guarantee you that I will beat you. And we're gonna call it Burger Roulette. Burger Roulette. Yep. So that will be the next video, okay? And then if you guys like that video, then we're gonna do Pizza Roulette. And then we'll do I don't one. think I, I couldn't do pizza. Oh, I can easily do pizza. Okay, well, good for you. I can. I can do ice cream roulette. I don't think I could do ice cream either. We gotta do something that's like out of your niche. Everything is my niche. I bet you I could tell you waters. Like the Oh my gosh. Cream. You were. You know what? You probably could tell me waters. I could. Salads. I could, yeah, I could probably tell you salads. Ooh, this is a garden salad from Wendy's. <laughs> No, I'm not that good. Okay, so uh, so if you guys are ready for that, um, the only thing though is if we do challenges, we need to figure out like if you lose, then you need to do something in the next video. There needs to be consequences to this. Have you had their Cinnabon, Cinnabon Delights before? Probably. If you guys don't know about Cinnabon Delights from Taco Bell, they don't get enough hype because they are actually one of the most underrated fast food desserts that exist. You have, oh. look at that. Just wow. look at that. You have a. Uh, There's frosting inside. Frosting on the inside and a, a sh cinnamon sugar shell. That's it. Those are the best things. They're amazing. Oh my god, though. Oh my god, though. They. Um, those they, are so good. Like the. Oh, I love these so much. I might actually want to do like a challenge. Why are they so good? I don't know. You should make those on Christy vs. Kitchen. 
If you guys think that Christy should make those on Christy versus Kitchen, comment down below, delight. I just don't have the best of luck when it comes to making donuts. Delight, comment down below. Oh gosh. All right, now everyone, it's time for the main event. It is time for the wings. All right, these are the wings, the all new Taco Bell wings right here. So I just want to give you guys a an accurate description first of what these actually are. What because is that? That's not a wing. That looks like a chicken finger. Yeah. Is there is there a bone in that? No. That's you could probably sell that on eBay for like. Well, I broke it now. So these wings are five dollars and ninety nine cents per order. They are coated in a Mexican queso seasoning and served alongside a zesty ranch dipping sauce. No okay. This is the dipping sauce right here. It's kind of a yellowish dipping sauce. So um, I'm actually. Smells like ranch. Let's try them naked first and see if they're going to be. Uh, try these naked. Oh, you mean just as is? I thought you meant we were peeling the skin off. No, that's something you would do. I know. All right, here we go. Already better than Domino's. Way better than Domino's. I don't really get the seasoning. I mean, there's plenty of meat on them. Yeah, I was gonna say, at least there's meat on it. I don't get, I just don't get like the, the queso part. That's weird. They're good. All right, I had a palate right. cleanse because, oh, that's weird. Look, I got one of these too. Oh, interesting. They're giving out chicken fingers now. Okay, I'm gonna. Now I think we should try it with the 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 zesty ranch. You don't have to do it with the ranch if you don't want to, babe. It's okay to have a, an uncivilized palate. Oh, that ranch hits hard. Oh, that is zesty. Oh. It's actually not the worst ranch I've had. Um, wow. That is delicious. It's actually not bad. What makes something zesty? Like, how do you add zest? Lemon. Oh, it's lemon. Hmm. It tastes like there's lemon pepper in it. Oh, that is good. Have you ever put lemon pepper in your waffle sauce? No, but I might start. You know, there actually might be tahini in it. <sighs> this does. Because you know how tahini is like lime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to figure out how you make zest. Cause that's just, oh, that sounds amazing. I just told you. Yeah, but you, that's, I don't know if you actually. I'm Chris you versus Kitchen. I know how to put zest in things. Here's the question on everyone's minds. According to you, are these wings worth it or are they not worth it? For a Mexican fast food place, yeah, they're worth it. So Christy thinks they're worth it. They're good. I'm gonna say that the Taco Bell wings are indeed worth it. We get my seal of approval. Anyways, everybody, let us know down below in the comments if you agree. If you guys have had these, let us know what your thoughts are on them. And also, let us know what you guys want to see next on the electrics, even though we're already going to be filming our next video, yeah. Burger Roulette. Yeah, and this was good. Yeah, this was a fun, fun video. Uh, go subscribe to Chrissy's channel if you haven't already. Yeah. And get her to make more videos because I love seeing her be a YouTuber. Yeah. It's cute. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Without further ado, the electrics are out. Stop. Oh, yeah. Are you recording? Oh, yeah. Stop. You never seen those TikToks? No. Where those guys walk into like malls and they just go, it's all quiet, and they go, hi oh, yeah.